I don't know when I started realizing, becoming a witness, and being worried about the true state of the world that I find myself in. With the destruction of nature, the violence and poverty, and the strange feeling that it all might be connected. The name that my parents gave to me is Bud Bien. It means, all is well. If only I could still believe and be so sure about it. But this is the story of my quest and one of hope about the journey I embarked on, trying to understand what holds the potential to lift us up to higher grounds. I met people I couldn't imagine before. I love nature and nature loves me. Nature is me, it is my life. Our project now is to plant 25 million trees. There is a very strong correlation between insecurity and the natural resources. This is my journey, and I want you to come along through the country I love and therefore care about. It might have all started when I entered the court yard together with my best friend, looking for an internship at a place called Green Sahara Farms, where I learned an awful lot about solutions circular bioeconomics, nutrient cycling, and ecosystem restoration. But let me begin a bit earlier, when all of these words didn't make much sense to me. I was traveling in central Nigeria, close to Abuja, the capital of Nigeria, when the sounds of chainsaws made me stop. What I found was much more than evidence for the illegal cutting of woods and rootless mining, but the bravery of a single woman called Empress. This is supposed to be the Maitama Hill Conservative. Mm -hmm. It used to team with wild animals. Mm -hmm. Look at how it ended. There used to be a river here, a flowing river, but now they spoils the whole place and we can't even find the river anymore. So there is an excavation going on here? It's been going on for years. You can see how all the they've dug there. And when it rains, there is a landslide, there is erosion, so a lot of the topsoil are washed away. Believe me, if I try to make noise here, they will pack, they will come in gangs. I've come to understand that whatever dies doesn't really die. It comes back again, it grows. When a plant dies, mm -hmm. it comes back, it renews itself. Mm -hmm. When a seed falls to the earth, when it's time for them to share their seeds, they disperse them and they are reborn again. That's the circle of life. A lot of us, we're occupied, we want to buy cars, we want to live in big houses, but these are the things that really matter because without these things, nothing will exist. We need nature. Nature is life. Empress impressed me deeply. Her strength, courage, and the clarity of her thoughts. And here, I'm amidst a rising consumer culture, stuffed with things that in a million years will never decompose and renew itself. That go from cradle to grave. Promises of a so-called development that I was never looking for. And I went on to search further for people who were thinking along the same lines. I would not be disappointed at a public event at the regional capital in front of the old king's palace. <laughs> Yeah, I need me and Zamuki, Mutinada, Billy, a chimney plot there, yet I have been some of you, a bit older, the Wajanga. Allah, the Zamuki, I want to just a million arc and be sure you can go and take your arc and be sure while we are doing you, sleep,
kuma kowani community da je nafada wanda bai iya ya dauka yau ba nan da shekara 5 da rai da lafiya zamu dawo kaga mun riga mun yi safi kowani gida an aka samu bishiya 300 wanda dai sun san ishin kashu ba wanda zamu kawo kashu zamu kawo an fara shuka kashu zamu shuka gwam arabi karo kenan da moringa da abubuwa sun kai guda 14 yace ya kamata kowane kowane community kowane mutane ya zama suna iya biyan bukatan su da abubuwan da suke da shi a kasan su kafin su fita waje in Allah da aikin wannan na shekara 30 ne to a cikin shekara 10 in Allah da za mu biya wannan ke sa muke harkar bishoyi I was hooked, not yet convinced, but wanted to learn more. I decided to walk through that door, eager to learn as much as I can, asking questions about everything I didn't understand. The founder and visionary of the organization, Suleiman Dikwa, took me to the nursery to major forest stands of one of the most diversified system I've ever seen. And one of the main causes of deforestation is agriculture, as mentioned by various people along this uh, inquiry. So there's always the belief that you must clear land before you engage into agriculture. Look at the plants are doing very well and healthy. Yes, so I don't think any fertilizer is being applied to this soil. We have fertilizer fixing trees like Moringa and Gum Arabic which can be permanently actually be fixing nitrogen into the soil. That way you are able to regenerate the landscape. So we are talking about circularity of bio resources. It's like a cradle to cradle thing. Almost one billion people on this degraded planet do not have enough food every day. I knew that. And here we have a solution to restore soils, the land, and bring more food to the table. Why don't we do ecosystem restoration for the benefit of nature and humans on massive scale? Not the kind of monoculture thick forest that I have witnessed elsewhere along the journey, but diverse agroforestry systems like this. If you work with nature, she will reward us. I have seen with my own eyes. As part of the Circular Bioeconomy Alliance, CBA, hundreds of thousands of trees have been planted already, and millions more are to follow on specially demarcated areas, benefiting some of the most impoverished farmers. I was astonished by the potential I found at Green Sahara Farms, a system that was already fully matured. So where are we? What, what's happening here? This is where we are. This is agroforestry as it is. Mm -hmm. But you can see that uh, normally we have animals grazing here, you know, goats, sheep. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a mix of trees. We have some citrus, we have uh, cashews, we have mangoes as well. Okay. This is the nut. That's your immediate income. So this is the fruit where you can actually get the juice extract and have your ethanol. We've seen that this model works. Uh, for our people, you know, considering the current poverty level. So what's the value chain for when you harvest it? You have 300 trees on a hectare. So you do the math, 300 by 20 kg. So you have six tons, that's 6,000 kg. Interesting. Yeah. Good market. I'm glad as an intern that you've picked interest in all of this. Cash for cashew, grasses in abundance. Inspired by the success of existing interventions, Suleiman decided to bring this work to the attention of the minister. So I found myself sitting on the highest floor of a government building in Abuja, wondering not so much anymore about where it all started or where these quests will end. The rate of deforestation is alarming in Nigeria. And that is why we must all come together and do something about it and reverse it and halt it as well. So we're looking at sustainable ways, bio, circular economy. 
how to create value chain from the resources in the land. Do you think or agree that there's a correlation between depletion of our natural resources and the rising criminal enterprise within those zones? There is a very strong correlation between uh, criminality, or let me call it insecurity, and the natural resources that we have. As our population is increasing, the resources are diminishing. So if we can't take care of nature, we can't take care of ourselves. We all need to understand everything is from nature. So if we destroy it, we destroy our very, very existence. While leaving the city behind, the words of Empress came back to my mind. The oracle in the woods. How similar her thoughts were to those of the minister. We need nature. Nature is life. We seek nature, confining it to ever smaller spaces, caging the freedom-loving souls of wilderness in zoos. We have to work with and for nature in a circular bar economy based on the principle of renewal. Only what one can do until eternity is truly sustainable. Having learned all that, I now knew where to start by asking myself and others, what does it take to start a circular bioeconomy movement? What can I do to take this to higher ground? What? When you have good forest around, animals themselves, they will have peace.